It's the 41st year of food. Just come with a great appetite. Fun. <laughs> and most importantly, tradition. It's a happy time. Uh, we'll also, we'll teach you how to dance, the Greek dance. The funds raised through food and drink sales not only go to the church's community, festival director Jim Kinnis says the money will bring positive change to the parishioners and the greater Boise area. The food bank, the, the mission, we were the first two people to get the catch program. The Ukrainian fund, we do local, national, international type stuff. In a tour of the festival grounds, Kinnis told us how the church is proud they've continued to bring authentic Greek musicians and dancing to the community. A live bazooki player that comes in from Salt Lake every year. He'll be by himself Friday and his son will fly in and they'll play together on Saturday. Having planned the festival for decades, Director Kinnis says he couldn't do it without his fellow church members. You can be the best planner, but if you don't have the people to, to run it and carry it through, you, you're, you don't have anything. We have such dedicated workers and volunteers that are unbelievable. I mean, some of the volunteers are not even of our faith. We are just hours from the festival kicking off. The team behind me, they've been working tirelessly to welcome the Boise community to their festival. Jim tells me that the women of the church have been putting together the pastries since March, and they look delicious. You can catch the action from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. both Friday and Saturday at the Greek Orthodox Church in West Downtown Boise. Allie Tripke, Idaho News 6.